Hey, good afternoon, guys. This is Henry from Cliff Jones Tractor in Sealy, Texas. I want to do a quick little comparison between the uh, Emax 25 HST four-wheel drive tractor with the loader and the Max 26 XL HST four-wheel drive with a loader. Uh, we'll start with the fuel tank capacity on here. Both of them have the fuel tanks on top. You'll see there's that one here. And the fuel tank capacity on this one is only a 5.8 gallons on this one. Okay, but on the Emax, I'm sorry, on the Max 26 XL, it's 6.1 on here. So it's not much more, but it is a little bit more. Okay, show you a little bit about the, the loaders. If you'll notice, the loaders are a little bit more rounded on here. They do have the two cylinders now. Back About two years ago, they didn't have those two cylinders on each of the loader uh, arms, but they now they have both of them on there. There was one single one in the middle. Okay, and the same thing on the Max Series. Lifting capacity of the E-Max 25 is a little, a little out right now at 900 pounds. On the Max 26 XL is right at 1,400 pounds. So you got a little bit more lifting. Um, the, the horsepower wise, so the horsepower actually on this one is a 24 horsepower. Uh, and then that's um, on this one here, the Emax 25. But on the, e on the Max 26, your horsepower on that one's gonna be 25.6. So it is just a little bit more than what it calls for. Uh, motor wise, um, this one is a different motor compared to the Mitsubishi on this one here. And I really can't say that one on there. Dang yang, uh, TYM, uh, motor that is on this one. It was made in Korea on there. It's a TYM, okay, made by them. And then over here, you can see this is a product of Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi's come a long ways. The motor is, sounds a little different on there, and I will start those up and show you. They both are proudly symbol here in Texas. Got both power seven year powertrain warranty on those. Okay. The loaders come off on both of these easily uh, while the loader's in the air. Uh, this one actually has kickstands in here. So you actually got a kickstand here. You have a kickstand right there. While the loader's in the air, you see how these pins, they are loose right here. So it's easy to take those off, but drop the kickstands first, pull the pins, then back up off the loader. Okay, once you back up off the loader and the loader's on the ground, cut your tractor off. You will have to work the fluid about the loader handle and that keeps uh, a lot of the pressure because these are color-coded hydraulic lines so you can actually take these off a little easier. Same thing with the Max Series. You can see those are a little bit easier access and they are color-coded on there, okay? Uh, Three-point lifting in the rear. Cast iron rear end. Three-point lifting on this one. Uh, this one is going to be exactly 2205, so a little over 2200 pounds. And then three point lifting capacity on this one in the back is only 1320. Uh, this is still a great tractor. Both of them come with standard draw bars. You can see that one's in, in, installed right here. And then this one can be installed. As you see, it's got a spot where you can get it out of the way when you don't need it. Okay, a little bit of differences. You can see the tire height, you know. Max 26 XL is a little higher, a little bigger. It's still a good. Both of them have foldable ropes. On the 25, it is a little higher. We can put canopies on them also. Both of these are three cylinder tractors. All right, see what else do I need? All right, the S on these now stand for still. They stand for still, okay? And what that means, you have a steel hood, okay? Steel fenders. Nothing plastic about these on these little ones, okay? Same thing with over here. Still. Still. You got a cup holder here. You have a cup holder here. Okay? Raise and lower your three points. Raise and lower your three points. This steering wheel is a, uh, it's, it's not, it is non-move, it's not a tilt. You cannot tilt with this one, but you can with this one. It tilts so you can have a little bit more comfortable ride. Okay, uh, these are uh, hydrostatic transmissions and what that means is you have a high and low gear and you're not going anywhere until you get forward and reverse by switching every foot. It's great for doing loader work, even if you have the wife or the kids or somebody who's never been on a tractor, this is a great uh, safety thing for them because it will come to a complete stop once you take your foot off. Uh, but also, if you're out there shredding your fields, you do have cruise control, so you don't have to keep your foot constantly on the forward motion. Pretty good, huh? 
There you go. All right, the same thing with this one. This one does have cruise control, but your hydrostatic pedals are different. Uh, it's kind of like a rocker pedal, forward and reverse. I don't mind it either way. I can use a tractor, go back and forth, and so can you. That's not a problem. Okay, uh, you got your two braking systems. Say so you do have it in your cruise control and you're out there doing your fields and you want to make tighter turns, just take the take one because these are independently brakes on each on each um, on each of the rear wheels. Okay. All right, on the both loader handles are the same. You can lock them down, so if you have a load in the air, you can lock it down. Okay. Same thing on the other one. And you can adjust these up and down a little bit. You actually see that right here you can adjust it if needed. Okay. All right. To engage your PTO on this one, uh, all you got to push knob, push it right there to engage it. To stop it, turns it off. This is your RPMs. Okay. You got your horn, your blinkers, and your lights all on that side. You got your four-wheel drive on and off. You can add a mid mower to these. Uh, has a uh, mid mower, and you can actually—it's like a two-step process. Put it in the rear or the mid mower, which link, and then you engage your PTO from here. Okay. All right. Uh, then you got your clutch on the other side, so you can put it in the high, low, or medium gear, or higher, 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 low. All right. Uh, over here on this one, you do have a spot where you can put the mid PTO on here. You can engage it from right here, also. All right. Uh, then you got your brake. I'm um, sorry, your clutch. Brakes are over there. You got your four-wheel drive on and off. Your differential lock. So if you're ever in a sticky situation, put your drop your heel on that. That gets all the wheels and gears spinning at the same time. Okay. All right. This right here is easy to check your oil. And does not have that. You'll check your oil and everything. And in in I mean your your fluids in the back on this one here. Okay. Um, then this is raise and slow raise or slow the speed down on your three points whenever you are dropping it Okay, and that's the same thing with this one over here. Okay Easy you are sitting up a little bit higher on the max series um, I really like them now. I'm going to start them up so you can actually you can see the buckets real quick uh, Buckets are not much different. You know the, the max series is a little different All right So let me start them up real quick so you actually hear the sound on them Go from there. Let me get up here. Okay, and they do have the kill switch in the seat. If you ever fall off, it cuts off. Okay. All right. Here we go. So listen to the listen to the to the uh, the engine. A little rough ride at first, but once you give it RPMs, it calms down. You hear that? Okay, so that one's there. Believe it or not, I sell more of these Emaxes than anything. Okay, then the Max 26. Now you'll hear the difference on here. Okay. All right, here we go. Here the motor. To me, it's a little bit quieter motor. Mitsubishi should done a really good job on this one. Okay. You got your RPMs here to rev it up. Okay. Drop that down. Put your tilt wheel down there, cruise control, and your braking system. Okay. All right. Uh, another thing I forgot to tell you about on the the Emax 25. It does not have the skid steer attachment bucket on this one here. They are coming out with the newer models in 2018-19 uh, uh, later this year. Uh, like the Emax, like the Max series, they do have the skid steer attachment bucket just in case you want to put spear or forks on the front end. You could. Okay. Alright guys, well my name's Henry from Cliff Jones Tractor in Sealy, Texas. Trying to do a quick comparison for a customer on the Emax 25 HST and the uh, e the Max 26 XL. Uh, quite a few differences. Uh, there is a, due a little bit different price point. Uh, I don't get prices all over uh, the internet over the phone or anything. The reason why is because Mahindra offers us discounts and rebates each month that are different, you know, better for the customer. 
so uh, it's hard to keep up with a set price on these. So, my name is Henry from Cliff Jones Tractor in Sealy, Texas. I have over 270 tractors on my lot, anywhere from 20 horsepower all the way to 125 house, uh, 25 horses. We even take in trades. So, uh, we do create tractor packages with. Uh, box blades, uh, shredders, even finishing mowers and utility trailers. We have all the implements that you need and then we also sell Spartan and the Gravely and we can do zero down zero percent up to 48 months on those financing. Alright guys, again my name is Henry from Cliff Jones Tractor and RV and Sealy. Uh, if you have any questions please um, or any comments um, I'm not an actor. I'm just trying to sell you a good tractor, man. So assembled right here in Houston, Jack River Road, Highway 6 and 290, 45 minutes from there, about 45 minutes from downtown Houston on the way to San Antonio. Please like and subscribe to my page. My name is Henry from Cliff Jones RV and Tractor, 832-960-9806. 832-960-9806. Thank you, guys, and y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.